India has launched its first indigenously built nuclear powered submarine. Vishal Tapa reports from Vizag. India on Sunday took its first visible step towards acquiring a capability to fire nuclear tip missiles from underwater. The launch of its first indigenous nuclear submarine INS Arihant at Vizag brought it closer to a triad of nuclear weapons which can be fired from land, air and sea. As India caught up with the big powers, Prime Minister Manmohan Singh was defensive. We do not have any aggressive designs, nor do we seek to threaten anyone. We seek an external environment in our region and beyond that is conducive to our peaceful development and the protection of our value system. Manmohan Singh sought to assure the world that India is not rattling its saber. But it's also clear that an underwater-based missile firing capability is the key to India's nuclear weapons doctrine of no first use. Only if an adversary is convinced that India's nuclear weapons will survive a first strike will he be deterred. And survivability is best ensured when these nuclear weapons are under the sea. The launch of this nuclear missile firing boomer was itself a very gentle and a traditional one. It is believed that a woman launching a ship will save it from misfortune. And so, Gursharan Kaur, wife of the Prime Minister, she broke the coconut on the hull to the chance of the Atharvved to invoke the gods. The Prime Minister also openly acknowledged Russia's contribution to this program. Russia is believed to have played a key role in the miniaturization of the submarine's nuclear reactor. The Arihant was tucked out of its cradle for harbour trials. The nuclear reactor will turn critical in this phase which will be followed by sea trials and weapons firing. The submarine should be in operational use by 2011. With Vishal Thapar and Vizag, Tigvijay Singh Deo.